Welcome to the Jarvi Overview Tutorial. I will guide you through all the different sections of the software and tell you what each does so you have a general idea of what Jarvi can do for you. After you install and log into the software, the first screen you will see is the dashboard, and more specifically, the summary tab. After you add accounts to Jarvi and they start working, you will see here everything that is done for each account. You will also have a tab with statistics where you can see a graph of your account's evolution in time. The next tab is What's New, where you will see the change log of the software. As it is updated quite often, even twice a week, you will see here all the new features and bug fixes that we do for you. The next tab, Contact Support, will allow you to get in touch with us should you have any problems. And lastly, the Notifications tab is where Jarvi will send you notifications concerning your accounts and campaigns, like running out of posts, running out of sources, invalid accounts, and so on. We've finished with the first main section of the software, the dashboard. Now we'll talk about the rest of the main sections, one by one. The Social Profile section. This is where you will add the social profiles that you will be using with Jarvi. Just click the Add Profile to start this process. As you can see, we currently support the following platforms. Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. All account types are treated almost the same. Some will have extra features and tools that are specific to that account type, but most of the features are common. The Tools section. Here you will see the available tools for each account. As you add different types of accounts for different social platforms, you will notice the variety of tools available at your disposal. Each tool for each account runs independently, so you can set different tools to run for each account. For example, for a Twitter account, you can set the follow, follow back, unfollow, and like tools all to run and they will generate engagement for your account that mimics the normal actions of a human being. If you click on an account name, here you will see all the tools available for that particular account. For example, if you click on a Facebook account, you see the tools available for the Facebook platform. At the moment, they are as follows. Finder, Joiner, Unjoiner, Notification Off, Account Actions, Accept, Invite, Contact, Backup, Bump, Comment and Like, Cover Photo, Birthday, and Unfriend. The Settings section. This section pertains to the settings of Jarvi. As you can see, they are split in several tabs that explain more of what kind of settings you can find on each tab. They are Software Settings, Embedded Browser. This is the internal browser used to automate the actions Jarvi does. Social Platforms, Connectivity, Error Backup, Email Notifications, and Actions. You can browse the settings as most are self-explanatory. If you need additional information about one of them, you should consult our knowledge base. The Proxy Manager section. If you add multiple accounts to Jarvi, you will definitely need to use proxies for some of them so you don't leave footprints. Once you start adding proxies, they will show up here and you can easily manage them. See which account is assigned to which proxy and some other useful information. The My Accounts section. You will find details about your account here what license you're on, how much time you have left for your license, whether you have an active subscription or not. If you don't have an active subscription, you'll also be able to create a new subscription so you make sure your Jarvi software continues uninterrupted. The Destination List section. The destination lists are designed to be used in conjunction with campaigns. The idea is simple. You create destination lists that contain specific accounts where you want to post. Then create a campaign where you specify a destination list so it will know where to post. A destination list can contain any number of destinations on any number of accounts. For example, you can have a destination list to group your FB wall and five of your favorite FB groups, your brand FB page, your Twitter wall, two of your Pinterest boards, and your LinkedIn wall. 
you will then use this destination list to post with a campaign on all of the above. The Campaign section. Here is the place where you will schedule all the posting done on your accounts, be it on walls, boards, groups, or pages. If you click the Add Campaign button, you will start the process of creating a new campaign. As you can see, there are three types of campaigns. Standard, Volume, and Scheduled. Each one is designed to be used in specific cases. You will learn more about the difference between them when we create a campaign. For now, let's just choose a standard campaign and see how it looks inside. As you can see, it has multiple tabs. Overview, where you will name the campaign and choose the main settings for that campaign. What to publish. This is where you will add the posts that will be scheduled to be published on your accounts. As you can see, you have multiple ways of adding a post. Adding them directly, in bulk, by taking them from Flick or Pinterest, via RSS, by monitoring a folder on your computer. You can also create clickable image posts and share posts. All added posts are sent to the post list. Where to publish. This is where you will choose one or more of the destination lists you created. When to publish. Here you specify the time when your posts will be published. You can add exact times. You can randomize them each day. You can choose to post on certain days of the week, and you have a lot more options that will allow you to be either exact or totally random, as a human would be. Drafts. You can send posts that are not ready for publishing here. You can work on them some more and then send them to the post list. Post list. This is the list of all the posts that you created and are waiting to be published on your destinations. Jarvi will publish them in order unless you specify you want it random. As you can see, you have a lot of publishing options here as well. History. This is the place where Jarvi will move posts that are published. You will be able to see details of when they were published and if they were successful or not, along with direct links to the published posts. This concludes our overview of the Jarvi interface. As you can see, there are quite a lot of sections, but don't worry, you will learn them really quick as they are intuitive and as much as possible, self-explanatory. Even the best entrepreneurs need help. Get Jarvi, your loyal assistant.